Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have filmed this is my third video that I filmed today, so if my energy is a bit lower, I apologize, but I need to run. Anyways, so today we're gonna do new makeup releases. I haven't done these in a while, so I was like, let me film one because I love filming these videos. <laughs> So I'm just gonna say this now. I don't think I'm gonna talk about a lot of things today because I don't know. I already am feeling the pain of talking too much. So I apologize or maybe you are excited that I'm not gonna talk so much. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, so I'm gonna start with the first thing that is revealed on trend mode and it's the sculpt collection from Melt Cosmetics. It includes brushes, cream, and powder contour in stacks. So it's coming soon. I don't know by the time you're watching this, it would maybe be available or maybe we just have a date now. But I'm not looking forward for this because I have cream contour in my collection and I don't want any more. And I'm pretty sure they all are like connected. So you can't even choose which one you like to buy either the cream or the powder or maybe i have no idea i have no idea this is the only picture that i can see here so yeah they look nice they look dark enough for everyone but no i already have and i think contouring is not something a lot of people do some people really love it some people don't but i already have enough in my collection that and i don't love it way too much that i want to have more than one so I am good, but they look nice. They look nice. Melt Cosmetics have amazing things, so I'm sure they're amazing. But if you're excited, here you go. <laughs> Next thing is Kylie is coming out with new shades in her blush and highlighter. Highlighter, actually. Highlighter sticks. And yeah, they are coming out in September 25, so cool. <laughs> I don't buy from Kylie Cosmetics, not for any reason, but more just that it will be too expensive to ship it here. And also that her collection are usually just... I'm like, yeah, they look nice, but I wish I don't have to pay so much to ship it. So that usually makes me not buy it, so... Yep. Next thing is from Colourpop, and I hate that I like this palette. It looks nice. <laughs> And I hate that I like it. This collection from Colourpop, is it available? Yeah, it's gonna be available on 24th of September. So maybe it's available. I'm filming this today, it's 22. So by the time you're watching this, all of these are available. Cause it takes me like four days to edit. Cause, cause I'm not good at editing at all. This collection is called Sandstone and it has an eyeshadow palette with 18 shades, cream shadows, four lippy sticks and a shimmering dry oil and a vitamin C elixir. The only thing I really like is the eyeshadow palette. I like it. Am I gonna buy it? I don't think so because Colourpop does not ship here because of COVID. Um, so I don't think I will try to get it by shipping it to a PO box and ship it here. It's not necessary. But the lippy sticks actually look so good they look amazing they look nice they look they look nice but yeah i don't think i would like to have it also the eyeliners look amazing the gel liners the shades all look really nice but no i don't think i would be able to get this so if it's available to ship here maybe but if it's not i'm not losing sleep over it i'm good but it looks nice <laughs> it looks really nice next thing is wayne goss are coming out with face press powders it's a duo face palette it has a blush and a highlighter all of the blushes or at least here in the picture look shimmery and i don't like shimmery blushes at the moment i like matte but the only matte blush it looks like it's like the dark purple but like the i don't know why they do that sometimes they were like with the blush being so dark and the highlighter being so light oh what are you doing <laughs> i'm 
for me i would think this is for a darker skin tone but a darker skin tone would not use a white highlighter I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not for a darker skin tone and I'm getting hated for nothing. Maybe that's it. Anyways, but the dark blush is the only one that looks from this picture matte and the rest look all shimmery. So, I don't like shimmery blushes. So, not for me. And it's coming soon on Beautylish. I don't like buying the duo of face palettes. I don't know why. Watch someone do it and i'm the first one to buy it <laughs> but no i just i usually don't buy them because i'm just like i have enough blushes and enough highlighters i don't want a duo maybe one day who knows but yeah it's coming soon it looks nice but no <laughs> okay next thing is a new scent from Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro? Cool, whatever. Moving on. Okay. Makeup by Mario is coming out with his brand. Is it available? Do we have a date? October 1st. He has makeup remover wipes, five brushes, brightening pencil, master pigment pro pencil, liquid liner, crystal reflector. Is it like highlighters i have no idea but master secret glow master eyes prep and set and waterproof liquid liner for mixing it's very i think it's a very like makeup artist brand i think he mentioned that this is a makeup artist brand and eyeshadow palettes so far none of the things that are coming out i really like and i don't think it's for me <laughs> i really don't it seems like for makeup artists and I'm not a makeup artist as I like to say all the time but just in case you don't know <laughs> I think you will know without me mentioning that I'm not a makeup artist so I don't think this is for me but if you like to buy any of this it's coming soon they don't seem to be very very expensive I think it's like mid-range prices and they look nice they look nice but maybe one day i will see something that i'm like yes i want to buy it the highlighters look nice though let me be honest the highlighter is like amazing but i like how it's like black and white i like that even though i think black and white with a makeup artist especially with it being mostly white it's not really a good idea but i'm pretty sure he would have thought about it and made it like easy to clean so and i don't think makeup artists are very like oh my god they look dirty with makeup i don't think they care as long as the inside is clean it's fine <laughs> anyways yeah it's coming on october 1st next thing is a pat mcgrath when i saw this i was so confused i'm like what's going on over there are they okay are they losing money what's going on I don't know i don't know i don't know why this collection looks super weird if you take off the cardboard packaging because the cardboard looks like pat mcgrath but if you remove that and you show me this part i would not think it's pat mcgrath i would be like is this a new brand what's going on <laughs> everything is so different what's going on does she want to change her uh, packaging i have no idea maybe she wants to change it to make it cheaper i don't know Anyways, this is the Celestial Divinity Holiday Collection by Pat McGrath. It includes a 15 pan eyeshadow palette, a quads, three I think, there are only three. Yeah, there are only three quads, three matte lipstick, a skin fetish highlighter, and a lip balm, and a gift set. I think there is only three, but they look so strange. I don't know why. I don't know why, I don't know why. And the eyeshadow palette, I have no idea if I like it or not. <laughs> I sound crazy. But I really, when I saw it, I'm like, do I like the shade? Or do I not like the shade? Do I want to wait because it's Pat McGrath? Or do I want to wait because I like the shades? I have no idea. I don't know. I can't decide. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and the highlighter packaging, I hate. 
I hate when the packaging is this way where it's like separated, it's not together, where you open something, it's like still like stuck together. This is like the cap, you remove it completely. I hate that. I have no idea why I hate that kind of packaging, but the highlighter looks so nice. I've heard amazing things about her highlighter. Uh, she has a highlighting palette and I would like to try that, but who knows when, but it looks nice. Even the quads look nice. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Everything looks so different, but the packaging looks nice, especially the lipsticks, the one with the pink and gold packaging, they look nice. But I just don't know. I don't I don't know. I can decide if I like this or not. The swatches look amazing, but it's mostly shimmer from what I can see here. And it's much cheaper as well. It's $78, which I was so surprised. I thought everyone was talking about how it's gonna be like one thousand dollars <laughs> because it's much bigger. But when she came out and she was like seventy eight, I was like, What? <laughs> That's surprising because her smaller palettes which are 12 shades, I think, but I could be wrong, are like $125. I don't know how this is cheaper. I really think she is trying to change her packaging and make it maybe cheaper for people to buy. Cause I just feel like, okay, I'm gonna say this. It's gonna be a story, <laughs> but I feel like when you come out with a brand and it's super expensive, you're excluding people. You're making people like, having to save up to buy your things and i don't know makeup is supposed to be something fun something that everyone could buy and it's not nice to be someone that sees something and you're like oh you have to have like millions of dollars to buy this palette like i don't think that's very nice for people i don't know i could be wrong maybe people don't care about the price like uh, is this too expensive whatever i don't care i'm just gonna go and buy something that's in within my budget but i don't know maybe i am thinking too much but i just feel like you are screaming you are too poor for me and i don't want your money don't you guys think so i don't i don't know maybe 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 i'm thinking too much maybe i'm being too much but i just don't like it when a brand like dior or tom ford I can understand it's a designer brand. I understand it. I get it. Even though their collection are not for everyone, <laughs> they're very, very classic. Like Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona is a brand that people talk about. Especially if you watch YouTube, people talk about how amazing their products are. Some people don't like it, but most of the people like it. And it's like unpopular opinion if you say you don't like Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath. So I feel like people feel left out and I, it's not a nice feeling, especially for makeup. Sure, designer brand, Dior with their thousands and thousands of dollar clothing and designer bags, whatever, it's fine, it's a bag, you can ignore it. It's not something that people do to relax, people um, do to have fun, to be creative. It's very different, it's makeup. But when you put it with like a high price tag, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being annoying and I'm thinking way too much for a makeup palette. <laughs> that could be it as well. Sorry, I have the AC on, so it's very hard. But I think brands are being aware that if you are too expensive, people will not buy from you. Like Natasha Denona palettes are now much cheaper. Not cheaper, but much cheaper than they used to be. And Pat McGrath also is trying to, I think, lower her price. Not everyone is rolling in cash. <laughs> like I don't think I don't think a lot of people have so much money to buy an eyeshadow palette. Let's be honest. But sorry, story time over. But yeah, if you're looking forward to it, here you go. It's gonna be available on September 25. So everything is gonna be September 25. If you want to tell me what you think, please do because. I'm confused and I don't know what to think. <laughs> I need someone else to tell me what I think because I don't know. <laughs> Next thing is Shumura. Shumura? I don't know. But this is going to be a Japanese manga. And I'm thinking this brand is Asian. 
like i'm pretty sure this is asian um i don't care because one piece yeah it's called one piece this is a collaboration i don't know anything about this brand or manga series but it's gonna be available in november and it's gonna have a brush set eyelash curler foundation brush highlighter cleansing oil kit mini lipstick i think brow pencils cleansing oil makeup box and i should have it it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> it's like 10 items <laughs> but if you are someone that enjoys one piece it's gonna be available on november 1st with shuamura i don't know if it's gonna be available everywhere it's gonna be available on their website they look nice as well <laughs> but it's not something i really know anything about <laughs> okay next thing is the holiday collection by anastasia beverly hills i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to think she has the soft glam bite-sized glam so the soft glam like big eyeshadow palette she made it into a, like a smaller eyeshadow palette actually it's gonna have six shades from soft glam and two from norvina palette the same soft glam norvina and a mascara and also mini gloss sets the eyeshadow palette is 29 dollars that's a lot i think that's a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette that's like mini size but i don't know if other people feel this way i think they did not work very hard in this collection they're like let's make it smaller and put it out <laughs> no one cares <laughs> But maybe for some people they're excited. It's gonna be available on October fifth. A lot of people enjoy like smaller palettes, and maybe you are someone that enjoys the soft glam and you wanted a mini. It's time. <laughs> it's available. But I don't know. I just don't think they worked very hard on this collection. It just seems very half-assed. But the gloss looks nice, but way too light. But I don't know what to think gonna be available on 5th october on their website and october 8th on every other retailers i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know what to think you guys i literally don't know what to think about any of the collection that are coming out i'm just so confused maybe i'm not in the makeup headset at the moment that's why i'm just like okay <laughs> i think that's what's going on i think i'm just like no one is doing their makeup anymore no one is going out it doesn't feel exciting i think so but next thing is something that i really want to buy <laughs> i just talk about how i'm not excited but at least there's something that i am excited for but you are coming out with more shades in their glow face palettes it's gonna be pure gold rose gold and copper gold so three more shades and i love this a lot like i want this palette if it becomes available anywhere near me i'm buying it i'm buying it i'm buying it i'm buying it because it looks so good like the rose gold and the copper gold i want it <laughs> or maybe not i think pure gold and copper gold are the one that look best suited for me even though the rose gold look good but I think most of the shades will not look very good on my skin tone. If I could buy all three, I would, but I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have the money to buy all three of them. The price is not available here. It's coming soon. It's not available yet, but it's coming soon for holiday. So who knows when it's going to be available. It looks nice. It looks nice. And I don't know if it's going to be available near me next thing is something that i am confused about and makeup revolution collaborated with friends the show i don't know i don't know what i wanted i have no idea what i wanted that's why when i see this i'm like i wanted more but at the same time i don't know what i wanted but they're coming out with like a big palette for for friends and then they have like three mini palettes for rachel phoebe and monica and then they have lipsticks, they have glosses, they have a mirror, they have bags. It's a whole collection. And this is gonna be like two series. This is gonna be like another one soon. Who knows when? But I don't know. 
I don't know. The grasses look nice, but part of me is disappointed. There is also scrunchies, <laughs> but I am kind of disappointed. I thought, listen, method revolution. Most people think their formula is not amazing. So if you are someone that loves prints and you want to buy it. I don't know if it's still available it should have been available ages ago i don't know maybe it's sold out now but their formula is not very good so be careful when you go and buy this don't expect too much <laughs> but i think i'm disappointed i'm disappointed i think they should have made it more fun and i think friends should have collaborated with another brand that is better than makeup revolution i'm just gonna say it it's not I don't like this <laughs> I don't like this at all but I'm sure a lot of people bought it because there are so many people that just love friends and would buy everything that has friends on it so yeah I'm 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 sure I'm sure it's sold out by now disappointed but not really because make a preparation <laughs> that's way too mean I apologize next thing is Huda Beauty she came out with mini obsessions palette and and it's the haze obsession so she has sand haze purple haze and cocky so when i saw this i was like i want to buy all three and i still want to buy all three but i just i have i just have something to say huda beauty palette sometimes have way too many light sheets that are not for everyone so the sand has more light sheets than darker <laughs> And I don't like that. But do I want to buy all three? Yes. Am I gonna buy all three? Maybe. I have no idea so far what I would like to buy. So, but I want all three of them. <laughs> I wish the sand had more darker shades. That's what I think. But what can you do? I'm not with a beauty and I don't know with a beauty. So, unfortunately, I have no say in it. <laughs> But I really, really, really like the shade. They are so good and I would like to buy it when it's on sale. <laughs> I love buying things on sale. Okay, next thing is also something I really want to buy. It's the Marc Jacobs Holiday Collection and I want everything. <laughs> no, not everything. I want the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter. I love the packaging and I also love the shades inside which is most important <laughs> the eyeshadow pens looks so good very merry cherry that's the name of the collection it's so cute i would like to buy the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter but if i could only buy the eyeshadow palette i'm happy i just i just love the packaging and i love the shades inside they look amazing so it's a win-win situation but the price not very win-win <laughs> the palette is 49.50 and the highlighter is 49 too much too much but there is going to be an eyeshadow palette the highlighter and a mascara and lipstick and then there's going to be a bunch of like gift sets for like christmas and stuff like that all of the gift set has the packaging of the merry cherry which is like the mint green and the cherry so yeah i quite like it i would like to buy the i would like to buy the eyeshadow palette it's so cute and i love the shades these are exact shades that i would wear and the highlighter i hate i hate that the highlighter is humongous i wish for this collection they would have made it like a mini so that i won't have this highlighter until the day i die <laughs> but they're so cute and i want it it's just they look so cute i i can't help it i can't help it but want to buy it and our blast came out with holiday palettes and this time it's called the sculpture there's gonna be two face palettes so one mini unlocked and then the other one is like ambient lighting sculpture palette it's gonna have three best-selling and three exclusive new shades of blush bronzer and highlighter and a finishing powder and the other one the quad will have four shades and at first i wanted to buy it but then i, I still want to buy it but i'm very very like unsure 
when it comes to buying the hourglass face palette because i'm just like am i gonna be able to wear all of these um do i like any of the things that are gonna be available in this palette because it's 80 dollars it's a lot of money so i have to be sure that i would like all of the things that are inside this palette and i'm still unsure i've seen a lot of videos using this and they look amazing <laughs> but i don't know i don't i don't know if i want to buy it i don't know if i should not buy it i have no idea i have no idea this gear with makeup i'm just like i can't i can't <laughs> sometimes i'm like give us something better but then at the same time I'm like i don't want to spend money on this <laughs> i don't know what i want apparently next thing is a kaleidos collection this collection is it's so beautiful when the pre-order was available i put it all in the basket and i was gonna buy it and my mom was like buy it for yourself like buy it but i never did because i don't know i don't know i don't know what is it about this year that i just don't feel comfortable or maybe not this year but i just at the moment i don't want to buy makeup for some reason i just feel like we're wasting money <laughs> it's not necessary it's a powder i am good to wait a little bit more but they're gonna have two eyeshadow palettes and three chains of contour and contour palettes so it's gonna be cool light warm and deep and warm and medium and one gross that's it i love both of the eyeshadow palettes but i was gonna buy the brown one obviously but i didn't buy any of them and i also was gonna buy the contour palette because it looks nice <laughs> but i didn't buy anything maybe maybe by the time you're watching this i would have bought it maybe i didn't buy it and maybe i'll buy it another day it looks nice it's not that i don't think it looks nice because it looks beautiful that's why i wanted to buy it but i'm just like i'm not in a hurry i'm not in a hurry that's exactly it i'm not in a hurry it's it's fine it's gonna it's gonna be available it's gonna be available maybe forever so i can wait a little bit more actually i didn't even say the name of the collection it's called the fresh fantasy collection escape <laughs> the fresh fantasy collection escape that doesn't make any sense but there you go i think i'm gonna end this here because i can't speak anymore my throat is hurting me so yeah this is gonna be i think a short month thank god because i usually take like a week to edit these kinds of videos so yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you want to tell me what your thought process is about any of the things that i talked about or what you think about buying makeup at the moment i'm sure you have some thoughts <laughs> but if you'd like to tell me let me know in the comments and if you don't want to tell me that's completely fine and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me more of my face and yeah i will see you in my next video also all my social media accounts are in the description go follow me if you want to follow me and that's it bye